JD has a question. Says, I'm still fairly new to teams, but I'm looking for a way to create a team or a channel within a team that contains multiple tabs with multiple checklists. My intent with this is for project management and to provide templated checklists for all of our projects. For example, the first tab would be sales with checklists of what info to gather, what info to submit, et cetera. The second tab would be engineering with checklists of what documentation needs to be engineered and produced for an installation team. What I'm struggling with is how to create a team's template that auto populates these checklists. I've tried to do checklists and planner and to do, but haven't been successful. This seems to, like a standard feature, but maybe I'm being optimistic. Any help guidance is appreciated. Yeah, yeah this is a tough a, one. I think it's a it's common a question. Project management. Yeah. Well, that, you know, there's so there's bigger discussions. There's stuff on the move around task management and templates. I mean, two yeah. big discussions um, happening inside of Microsoft. Um, so on the project management side, there's of course uh, with Microsoft Project being rolled into the new planner, which is all is it is it out? It's out there now. The new planner, isn't it? Yeah, I, I believe it's. Is it's it preview past, or is it, I think I don't know. I'm I'm was thinking about that too. What ring is it in right now? I, I just saw some tweets with images this morning. Um it's like I know that there's it's out there in some flavor of, of the SKU, but that's the project management aspect. But what about on the creating teams templates and auto populating those? Yeah, I think PowerShell right now is it, that. The known solution right now is PowerShell. You have to use PowerShell to do that. I noticed that she said, I've tried to do checklists and planner and to do. So I'm concerned about that because to do is like a personal task management where planner is the more collaborative. Planner, you can actually copy an entire plan. So if you were to set up your, your buckets and your tasks and your deadlines, so the bad thing about it is not like, here's the start date. So in Microsoft Project, when you create a new, project from a template, you say, this is the start date and it drives all of that from there. And I don't believe that planner does that. It, it copies it exactly. And then you can choose to include the dates. You'd have to go back and put in all the dates and all of that. So it's not a perfect solution either, but yeah, I think it's going to require PowerShell unless, unless something Microsoft's coming up with something new that they haven't announced yet, but it, this is a yeah, common no. problem. I played around with Teams templates and then also with um, cloning a team that's already set up. So, and those would also be predicated on your environment or your your company allowing you to create a team and create a team based on another team. Um, but Sherry, to your point, I, I haven't played around with what that does from a planner perspective, but the the ideal thing is to get the access if you don't have it and then, you know, look at what you can and can't do either with templates, PowerShell, or the clone a team or create a team based on another team. But those might be the three ways to kind of get those um, those plans into another team for a project. One, it's, one a, of the, it's a big the investment problems. of time too to develop that, right? And, right? and maybe with what's coming out with the integration with Project and Planner, if, if this solution might be just over the horizon, do we you wouldn't want to invest all that time in creating something? The, sure. the way that it worked, again, I've not played with this in a <laughs> while, but part, part of the problem is because so you can go create a team template that has channels, pre-built channels, that has tabs. Um, and there's a there's a number of third-party solutions that are out there. I mean, I know, uh, you know, with Rencore and Orchestry and others uh, that, that go out there and, and provide a little more robust in building the, your provisioning templates around that. But some of the fundamental problems of that is that it will go based on, uh, you know, the, the APIs that Microsoft makes available. Like it will go and create channels. It'll drop a new planner in there as one of the options. However, it will be a generic planner that then opens up and creates a new. So, I don't believe that that templating solution that Microsoft offers, and I don't believe any of the third party solutions will go and point to an existing. So what, like having run, my background is project management and building PMOs and shared services teams. 
And I've done that again and again and again. And one of the things that we did in the earliest days back in SharePoint 2003 was building a shared services, like a, a SharePoint site for all project management. And so any new sites would then point to that one single project management site. So you could go up, use the new planner, create that centralized repository for people to go into. And then as you build a plan that rolls up, so you've got the portfolio view that it's all within like the company's project management activities, you can point to that specific plan in, you know, but you'd have to manually, I believe, you'd have to manually go in and add that after that new site was created. There's not an automated way to go and grab and create like a new plan off of that broader shared services space, if that makes sense. Yeah, on Project Web App, they, they did away with that, that architecture, like the creating where it rolled up and it had the whole portfolio. The portfolio management. view. Yeah. yeah and, and the new solution, I'm really curious to see how they and, handle that because again, that is a common challenge for businesses. They're like, we, we don't just have this project, this project, this project, and all the resources are distinct for that. You need to be able to say, here's our engineering team and they're working on these 20 projects and you need to be able to level those and find people's availability because yeah. You know, it's likely they're working on multiple projects at a time. I don't know a lot of companies where this engineer only works on this project at this time. Or so it's, that resource it's been a while since I've worked in an organization that because you're exactly right. I mean, I, that's what we used to do. And that's why, I mean, going back to 1999 with some of the first <laughs> SaaS project management solutions that are out there. I've often talked about I worked with a company that was out of Emeryville, California, or they out of Oakland, I can't remember, um, called Project Arena. That was one of the first SaaS-based project and portfolio management. So it was exactly that. So I could see a roll up, a portfolio view of all of my projects, and then dig into the details of those. And then individuals could see their things. One thing that Microsoft has gotten right that I like is the link between planner and to-do. So you have a, the ability to go into like your, see your tasks, like it's aggregating. If you're, if you are assigned to a task in a dozen different planners in your environment, you can go in there and look at all of those tasks and you can get a roll up of everything assigned to you in your to do. So there's at least that, but I'm yeah. just not, I'm, I'm a couple of years away from, uh, from seeing like the resource management and be able to go in and look at that again from my portfolio view. But I, I just, I haven't seen that Microsoft has been working on that kind of solution. It's a project by project. It's more of an ad hoc project management versus uh, career PMs. Yeah, and the SharePoint list that you can use to manage tasks don't show up in to-do. So that's one thing I think is still missing out of that whole, you know, what do I have to do today? single pane of glass instead of, you know, I got to go over here and I got to go over here and I got to go over here to figure out what I got to get done today. You know, that's not a thing yet. Yeah. Well, that's why you could go into like the, you know, my tasks view. You can see that again, any, anything that's in planner that's been assigned to you, you'll be able to see that. And then all of that should be reflected in your to-do tasks. Yeah. And that's where you can then go set up the, like my day, feature within to do and people if you're not using to do i mean i use it on my phone and my desktop almost every single day it's yeah. part of my way i work yeah i triage my inbox mark all the things i need to do what data I need to get them done and it all just shows up in my to do and then i can look at everything i need to get done in one place which unless i have it in a sharepoint list <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cool. The, the, any last words though? I mean, for, for what JD was asking, um, yeah, I I'd say that, you know, at, at a high level, it's not going to do the, the granular, uh, uh, template building that you're asking for. You're still going to have to manually go in there after the fact. Um, but some of the automation, what you're talking about, yeah, it's a, you know, PowerShell can help you go and you can build that kind of automation. And if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, there's there's certainly with our uh, N365 AMA crowd, we've got consultants that build that kind of stuff. Yeah, 100%. I just, I just played around with an all finance group, created a um, 
planner and then did a copy of the team and uh, set it up for all accounts receivable. And the tab still shows up as finance. And uh, then it says, are you wanting to set up a new tab? So it looks like it at least puts a placeholder for a tab. But to your point, Christian, it's it's not the full automation if you do it through the uh, copy a team and uh, you'd still have some manual uh, steps at a minimum. But yeah, obviously automation and how often you're doing this. If you're doing this on a weekly basis, it might be worth thinking about the automation and figuring out, like Sherry said, is this right around the corner that might make it easier or better? Sherry, did you have something to add there? No, just that I know it doesn't set up the tabs and it doesn't clone the site, the SharePoint site behind it either. It just creates the team with the SharePoint site. It doesn't create all the assets behind yeah. the scenes in SharePoint either. I mean, the one benefit of all this is that with Planner and uh, the SharePoint side of that, I mean, remember when Teams went live, it would go and generate all those brand new assets. At least now we have the ability to go in, it'll go and create those, but we can redirect and point to another existing, like the model that I explained, like it, you can have a shared services project management site in SharePoint or in Planner, and you can point those auto-generated sites, those tabs, to those existing plans and sites rather than having to recreate new and clone and do all those things. And maybe that's just the way to, to, to go, depending on how you do project management in your organization is keep it all centralized in one place. So at least from a management and administrative standpoint, you're just going to one place and aren't having to worry about project management activities striped everywhere and people not adhering to your methodology your approach to project management. Yeah.